Really, Cred? Really, Cred? Oh, my God. Hey, folks. Welcome to another episode of Really. I hope you brought some drink in your cup, because I sure have. We've got an interesting show for you today. Oh, wait, that's next week. This week, we'll talk a little bit about the, sh- the start of the split, Fnatic versus Titan, and the rest of the weekend, and I guess we'll touch chat, right? Eh? I'm not touching them. All right, well, you, you don't have to touch them, but I, basically... I mean, yeah. Yeah? What? I, I'll touch them if they give me consent. Ah. Oh, how nice of you. I care a lot <laughs> about the opinions of other people. That's that's very nice of you to care about opinions. So how are you? Uh, fairly decent. I slept far too late, which is a problem. I, I don't like to sleep too late. Uh, I do have the coolest shirt in the world, though. Shouts to Fouts. Luke. Shouts to Fouts. Uh, Fouts is my man, so the shirt just came in. And... I didn't have any more clean clothes, so I just put it on. But it's also good because I wanted to wear it for really. Sweet. I. Uh, How are you? I'm wearing a black T-shirt, and I have to do I, laundry. I'm soon not as surprised. Well. Yeah, I mean, my life is good. You know, I can't complain. I'm excited for the SPL to start up. Feels good scrimming again. Miss that. Yeah. Who are you scrimming against? Uh, AFK and nobody yeah. else. The usual. You really. Know. People are like, hey, you want to break your skin, uh, scream contract with AFK? And I'm like, no, I don't. Why? Because they're really fucking good. Like, why would we? I mean, don't you want to experience other teams as well? Isn't that a thing? Nah, it's not really a thing. Why not? Like, seriously, why, why not? Okay, so basically, like, for the scene as a whole, it is better to not have scrim exclusivity. And, like, have your replays publicly available, right? Because then everyone could do research on everyone else. Uh, sure. Everyone can get better. Everyone can scrim everybody. And you can learn from everyone. And, and the whole scene will grow a lot faster and become a lot better. That's, like, what you should do if you're Europe and you're like, man, we keep losing lands. We got to win yeah. worlds, right? Like, right. Europe should, if if Europe as a whole tries to win worlds, they need to do that by, like, having the recordings public so they can all grow together. I feel that. I feel that. That's not where NA is at right now. <laughs> and so NA right is now, much in the... You, you want to get you and your boys to the land, and then you want to kill people. So you're very much in the in the protecting of the proprietary information. Well, I think protecting of pri- uh, proprietary information is important right now. So I can't tell because, chat about like, your secret jean Kui basic attack build? No. Don't do oh. that. Sorry, chat. That's what's going to win this split, apparently, for Eager, though. <laughs> yeah, but, um... I don't know. Just, like, you want to protect your proprietary information. Starts are sort of up in the air right now. Like, we've seen, too, well, the AFK to... start and the Paradigm start. But, like, there are more. People just haven't started really using them yet, or found them yet, or whatever, right? right. Like, so do you guys have more. a different start? Do you guys have a different start? We have start? all of the starts. We just start at random buffs. We actually all roll a d20, and then pick a buff. <sighs> this is why nobody likes you, Chris. So you think like North you America too. is just stronger than Europe? I mean... As a coach of a North American team, you gotta, right? If one of the things <laughs> is worlds. That's true. Like, I'd actually agree with you. I think that Fnatic is the like exception. I think Fnatic is probably as talented as yeah. the North American teams, and that Paradigm has a shot. Yeah, and, and I Probably think Titan that. has a shot too. Like it's sixty forty. I'd sure. Say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll give you that. So but that's the, still sixty forty in favor of North America. Yeah, I think I think that I think the top of the EU crop is closer to NA uh-huh. than. There's a huge schism. I mean, the There's real huge... question, though. Well, first of all, who's the bottom team in NA and EU? Like, that, that's a question just because we've got new ones. Hey, we've got Elevate right. and we've got... Um, uh, Les Mimodons. Les Mimodons. Les Mimodons. So, you know, like, our upcoming star is still the bottom EU team. Are the Myrmidons, like... <laughs> EU won Gamescom. All right, true. <laughs> Epidary with the realness. <laughs> I will say... You know who the number one team is right now? What? The team, I forget their name, 
But the team that includes Big Man Tings, because he's got the best name in all of Smite. Yeah. Sure. I mean, dude, calling play by play with Big Man Tings. Big Man Tings doing the Big Man Things. Big Man Blink. <laughs> Big Man Talk. Big Man Cataclysm. Dude, he's a support player. Every time. It's just <laughs> always good. I mean, you cast in the past month. You understand how good that is to have a No, that is day. good. Yeah, like, and then, like, there, one of the more recent uh, forming NA teams, voila. I can't stand voila. it. Voila! Because, oh, like, man, it, it's good once, right? And then you have to say their team name over and over during the cast, and you forget how to say the word voila. Exactly. It's like, you like, just forget. Fight. You, well, well, then you just say Viola. Like, like, you're like, team fight goes to voila. And then everybody's like... So who won the team fight? I get it. You said voila, yeah, yeah. team fight's over. But who won? You're like, no, voila. And it becomes like a who's on first type deal. Yeah. Big Man Tings is not in the SP. Wait, really? Unfortunately. No, he uh, he is in a Challenger Cup team. I didn't even know they there was a difference in Europe. <laughs> no, but... So anyway, my point is like... I don't know who the bottom team in each region is right now. But I would love to see which bottom team is better than the other bottom team. Interesting. I want to see that. I want to see enemy cog versus upcoming stars. It's actually Knox. funny. That's actually funny. Let's pretend it's summer split, right? I yeah. think that North American top teams were better than EU top teams, but EU bottom teams were much better than NA bottom teams. I, I mean, yeah, looking I at agree. like, looking at like enemy and you know, I, what was it? Enemy and the other team. Enemy and cog. Cog. Yeah, the two red teams at the bottom. Two red teams in the red. That's ironic. Uh, like upcoming stars could have beat them. I, I yeah, think upcoming the stars is like there. well. Uh, so there's two things about up, three things about upcoming stars. One, they keep having fucking roster changes. Like that shit is ridiculous. Two. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah. yep. They can't get relegated. Well, they can get relegated, but they won't actually drop out in relegations. They will yeah. always win relegations, no matter what. And did you see relegations? Upcoming stars went to work. Well, yeah. I mean, to be fair, their opponents were, like, probably on tilt because fucking anybody would be yeah. on tilt when their junglers, the power on his entire street goes out. That's so, like... Oh, I mean, that I shit happens, so though. Like, oh, so yeah, you remember like... the game in, um, last year that, like, Dignitas won with the Janus portal into the Titan and end, now my team eager, right? Because yeah, Derek yeah, seed. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah Comcast yeah, yeah. just, like, rolled up and turned off his internet. <laughs> Like, actually a thing that happened, and you can't do shit about that, you know? Yeah, I mean, that's, that's like the equivalent of sports injuries, right? Like, sometimes you just get boned. There's yeah, nothing... but like, sports can also have subs mid-game, usually. For, yeah, for the most part, yeah. Yeah, I mean, not really in tennis. Uh, you're just sort of fucked in tennis. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, like, if Roger Federer just breaks his ankle, he's like... Hey, get the other Federer on, like, that doesn't happen. Where's my fine. backup? <laughs> Where's my clone? God damn it. It's 2015. Yeah. Like, but, uh. But, yeah, I mean, you, you just kind of get boned sometimes and, you know, heart goes out of them. What, what happened? Like, uh, the poppies as well. The poppies kind of got smoked, so. Uh, happens, yeah. Right? I mean, and it's so easy to tilt after that stuff. And you can't. Exactly. Like, you just got to take it straight. You just got to go, but. Like and that's, gonna tilt, that's, and it's like it's the most yeah. understandable tilt ever. Exactly. That's it's really easy for us to sit here and be like, "Well, you should have just went in." Their and heart you wasn't in it. Best like, of ones, but no. Right? Like, it's really easy for us to sit here and say that, but we're also realists and understand. Like, all right, you <laughs> got mad sucks. because your dude's power went out, and like that yeah. sucks, and you just yeah, gotta try and recover. Boring. And sometimes you can't, and then they take a game, and it's like, well, fuck. And the worst part, I think one of the... So, like, there's this rule in the SPL that's, like, if something happens and there's, like, an emergency sub, the other team can say no, right? Right. Like, it's Which... their right to say no. Like, that's totally legit. But if they do, you're probably going to be mad. Because that sucks. Yeah. Which, I will say, has been changed for the fall split. Really? Yes. That's it now. Uh, now your subs just have to be checked in on Monday. So there's, like, no allowance for whatever. Like, you just don't have a sub that sucks. Yeah, oh, yeah, ex exactly. Which, check in two subs on Monday. Check in yeah. three subs on Monday. Like, that's 
That's just, your job just, to do. Every right? team like, should list Wolfie as a sub until he's roster locked. <laughs> I mean, could could that could that happen? Could Wolfie be checked in on every team until he gets locked to one of them? Yes, I mean that's awesome. I'm I down. Mean, that should be a thing. Players right now might be roster might be subbing for two teams at one time. Just a matter of who gets yeah. roster locked first. Right, I mean, I guess with the check-ins, it doesn't really matter. It's just sort of like, let us know so we can compare, prepare things, you know? For like, yeah, assets it, it, or whatever, it's, it's, and not like... Exactly, exactly. That That's what it is. It's, it's about being, it's about bringing prof- a little bit of professionalism to the league, as, as yeah. well as the teams. I mean, it's like... Mm-hmm. High res treats high res treats the teams just like professionals, whether they're sponsored or not, and it's pretty unprofessional to be like, Well, we didn't have a sub when we were supposed to on Tuesday morning or Monday night, so now that it's Friday afternoon and our buddy had to go to a Hebrew school, um, can we get thirty minutes to find someone? That's no, you can't. kinda shitty. Like yeah. that's that's honestly just kinda shitty. Now is it different if both of your subs are screwed? Sure. Will that will there be an allowance? I honestly don't know. That's up to the admin discretion. I ain't no admin. But like that the idea well, of and, just and the other thing Monday check in, these are the guys that play. I like it. Like for um Septum Seven. No, not Septum Was it Septum Seven? I think it was. The team that got screwed, right? Like Right. And their sub didn't like they didn't have a sub ready on relegations day. And you should mm-hmm. have like eight. You should have like <laughs> yeah. That's that's going to the SAT. You should with have a like pencil. all of Sun Touch's Smurfs just listed. <laughs> just X quick, <laughs> X quick, X quicker, Sun Taco, X fast. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Just list I mean, them all. I, like I said, that's that's like going to the SATs with a single pencil. When that shit breaks, you're like, well, fuck it, see ya, I'm done. Yeah, exactly. We um, don't actually do that, right? Well, sometimes you forget. <laughs> I mean, you don't. Dude, I forgot to bring photo ID when I took the SAT, but the proctor was my fourth grade teacher, so they could vouch for who I was. I got lucky. You got kinetic, dude. I also uh, forgot a calculator, but I still got a 1900, so. 1900? Yeah. Oh, wait, you're young. Okay. Yeah, it was the old system. I took it when it was at a 16. I was like, dog. What? <laughs> What did you no. put a cover letter on your essay? No, that that would be uh, God, like a twelve thirty or a twelve forty. That's not bad. That's not bad. Yeah. That's um, not bad. And the SAT is actually getting changed soon too. Again? Completely. Yeah, they're completely I mean, revamping it. Okay, so let me tell you about how shit the SAT is. You know what it stands for? Standardized bullshit test. No, it, the first word, the S is scholastic. The it's scholastic yes, it aptitude scholastic act- test. Yes. Or it was, because they got sued, because someone proved that it didn't test aptitude. <laughs> so they changed it to the scholastic assessment test, which is, you know, is a pretty good name. It's a real place. But they got po- sued because it didn't fucking assess anything. So now it's just the SAT. Yeah, Europeans are very confused. Basically, uh, SAT is when you, pu- when you apply for college or university basically mm-hmm. what happens they go oh you're a real person with real values and real things that you can attribute to society what's Fuck your number it. we want one number <laughs> to represent you and that's the sat it's but to be fair it's also a, an important system for colleges because you get two hundred thousand applicants and you need to reduce you just need to <laughs> cut people out sure <laughs> if sure. you're below this number fuck you i had a good sat score and i resent yeah. being represented by a number so <laughs> oh it's a shitty system but also college is too many applicants and like eh. anyway our show isn't about college <laughs> our show is about people not doing stuff in college yeah actually our show is about the alternative to college for a lot of these players marrying rich and that's the spl no yeah. it's marrying uh, rich oh i don't know who rich is but congratulations yeah, on your engagement thank you it's plan a i think is working out really well plan b was college and plan c was coaching well, looks like you're plan F'd. <laughs> All right, sorry about that. <laughs> so, Titan vs. Fnatic. Did you watch? No, it was at 4 a.m. Did you watch at 4 a.m.? No, it was at 4 a.m. It was also rebroadcasted at 4 p.m. Yeah, but I have an excuse for that one, too. Which is? I'll tell you when you're older. Which is? Kayla! 
Link me to info about TJ Pernicus's new team. I have heard that it's TJ Pernicus, Maddie, and Aduro. And like that best, fun. I heard too. I don't know if that's real. Ooh. Yeah. I don't know, but that would be fun. I would love to see them. Oh man, there was a, there was a there was a brief I moment. I just feel like in the Maddie SPL. and Pern on the same team is just a powder keg. Sure, but powder kegs can be exciting. Like. Oh yeah, powder kegs. Powder kegs. I mean, like, powder kegs can result in uh, gonna, gonna go the sports way. Kobe Bryant and Shaquille O'Neal, very volatile players. They won fantastically, and when they left the teams, they both had horrible things to say about each other. But that's a powder keg that worked when it worked, right? I would love to see that. I would love to see. You know what I really want to see? I want to see a team buy an SPL spot, kick all five, get Maddie Pocket, Pernicus, etc. Have them win worlds and then break up and hate each other. I think that I, would be. I feel great. like you would be silly, just like if you're forming a team right now, like the Chunks or Pernicuses or Voila or whoever. I feel like you'd be silly not to just be like, "Hey, cognitive, hey, elevate, yep, hey, enemy, give me your yep. SPL slot." Like it's worth a shot. But it, it it really especially when you especially if you have a resume because a lot of these teams yeah. outside of cognitive don't really know anything about smite maybe 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 I'm wrong maybe there's a CGO at elevate and enemy that really follow smite and understand all these players right but for the most part no so you come in with your you know five all stars and you're like hey you know I'm I'm the Digaduro. Watch out. I'm Matty Pocket. I've been playing since, you know, the Roman Empire fell. Yeah. I I'm I'm fucking the best period end of story, right? And like just say, "Hey, these are our credentials. It costs you, you know, how much to take a gamble. Enemy, you lose fucking anyway. Does it matter if you lose with those people or us? Give it a shot." I mm. would totally do. Mm. I would totally go for it. But I'm also a conniving son of a bitch, so. <laughs> yeah, so that's, so, just me. so that's just something that could happen. But the rosters for the SBL have been locked in uh, on Monday. And, like, according to the website where you can kind of see people's rosters, it doesn't look like that's happening. Well, so the rosters don't get updated as per Monday. Then why the fuck does R say Ballantyne in Solo? We scrimmed with him once. The does fuck? it really? Yeah. He's Let still on resist. On Eager. Ballantine. Ah, well. I Tully's, actually know why. Well, Tully's I, on the team. Like, He's on the team? Yeah. We haven't announced anything different. We scrimmed once with Ballantine because Tully couldn't be there. That's... Don't was he checked in this week? Probably, yeah. We'll see. I don't know. Because anyway. It all, goes, it, it all goes based on the check-in list. That's what the website kind of, unless there's like a, unless specifically an organization says for us not to announce, like mm -hmm. when, uh, when the name changes, we're sponsored by Team Solo Mid or whatever. Um, right. We did announce until TSM did because that's like their announcement, right? Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. but, so, I mean. Valentine, like you said, he was on resist. We watched him playing the the. It was good. What was it the the, the he, eager he, he was a eager pleasure, shitty classic? The team eager summer classic. He's a pleasure to play with. He's a he's a nice guy. Um, but yeah, so I'm excited because there will be roster changes. There have already been some announced. I mean, there is cognitive and uh, who's uh, cognitive. But, dude, like, forever ago. We had this, remember? With the... We did it, like, two weeks ago. Oh, oh, oh. I thought yeah, there yeah, was yeah. another and, one And right Homo Fate changed his name to Sikandara, which is just as impossible to pronounce. Sikandara is actually cool. I think he was just... I'm still gonna call him the Iron Homie. Mm -hmm. And then there's... I'm still gonna call uh, him. I feel... That is, like, the one... That's the one that I feel really proud about. Homie Wait, F-E, so... F-E being iron. I feel good. Oh, that's good. Has Europe <laughs> had roster changes? 
Really? Stars is so stars is I largely mean, a different. Stars team. always has roster changes. Has well, Europe well, had no, roster no, no, no. changes? Stars Stars had a huge roster change. So you have Kewin, you have Kewin and Sausage, and yeah. that's it. Fex says is playing mid. You remember him from the mortality days. Yeah, too. Yeah, Zephyr is times. Zephyr's playing jungle. I and, that's a rename. Who is it really? I don't know. And oh, vote okay. NBK is playing Hunter. Yeah. Because it's stars, I don't necessarily know if it's a rename or not. It was a I'm pretty sure it's so, a rename. But you think yeah. so? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. Who do you I think, think it is? They put it in their announcement. It's Hyperion, yeah, there we go. Uh, okay, yeah, he's okay, actually okay. like he's right. been a fan of a show for a long time. Yeah, cool yeah sure, 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 sure. I thought you meant a rename of a player previously on the roster. No, 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 no. It's like a different person, but a rename. Yeah, yeah, right, right. And then okay, so uh, vo and vote NBK is subbing for Mr. Crunchy, not Mr. Mick Crunchy. Yes, Qwin's on stars. Flare Brute, that's how we fucking started this conversation. And Flare bot. Flare stars does always have roster changes. Y'all change your shit all the time. Less than enemy, but y'all do have it. Yeah. <laughs> enemy, we don't even cover that shit. Well, it's new enemy, enemy, we might cover that. New shit. enemy, who's oh right, oh right, 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 right. That's actually yeah. So the final, the final roster for enemy, previously known as Legion, previously known as Pandivion's Troubadours of Kick You, is mm -hmm. Pandivion and the Guardian. Uh, role, they call him the Three Vichium Musketeers. And the Hunter actually. role. Really? Yeah, because there's a fourth, and they kick ass out of teens. Weak, but I'll give it to you. So, Pain and Vishim are in the dual lane. Salt Machine gets solo. He's got a cute haircut. Chaos is in mid, and Wiggles the Bay is in jungle. Yeah, his name used to be Mr. Wiggles, and I think Wiggles the Bay is an improvement. Hold on. I've been power washing my crib, so. Uh, yeah, you <laughs> so need it's it. Just, it just sounds so ridiculous outside. I didn't know what's happening. Well, we can't but hear yeah. anything, so that's great. Now you're just... So enemy, enemy did uh, enemy, enemy changes a lot. Stars, the the bottom teams tend to rotate mm -hmm. as they should. I think. Like if you lose a game, it's not the end of the world. Don't if you lose blame one game, everything. You change your roster. Like, like if you lose a game, if you lose a couple of games, fine. But when you win a single game in a split or two single games in a split, you should investigate what's going on. Right, mm -hmm. like. Either it's either I, I always think get rid of the coach, but yeah, that's that's my plan usually as well. That's that's just me. Yeah, so. especially if your coach is trying <laughs> to replace uh, your mid laner. Oh, Bob Goalie's rating us, thinking he's funny. Bob Goalie. Bob Goalie is actually a fun guy to hang out with in real. Yeah, life. he's a pretty cool guy. It, it surprised yeah. me actually. I didn't think Bob Goalie would be fun, but he's a cool guy. That most people in the SPL wind up being either really quiet. I think that's the majority. Yeah. About about 75% mm. of the SPL is really quiet outside of the internet. And then 25%. And then 20% tend to be really cool people. Not My team is just really loud. And, and it's interesting to say, just because you're quiet doesn't mean you're not cool. Yeah. So in that 75% are some cool people. 20% are like social people that are also cool. And then 5% are just douchebags. Mm -hmm. Yep. My team makes up the 5%. Nah, nah. My team are really cool people. <laughs> <laughs> Courtney says, Orabella says, Dan doesn't stop talking. He doesn't. He really it's doesn't. crazy. Crazy annoying. <laughs> Just game, not us. Good for a drum right now. Yeah, it works out when you're jungling. Ham hey, coming to the right side. What's going on, on the right side? Hey, is mid okay? I want to go to the right side. What's going on in the left lane? I don't yeah. really mind. I'm going to solo lane. Shut the fuck up! I'm getting purple. But shut up, Dan. No, 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 no. I've heard your screams. I've heard your screams. Yeah, but he never goes to solo lane. <laughs> Would you? Yeah. So week one, we've got Elevate versus Eager. You guys are going to take on the New Blood right away. Mm -hmm. You're the first match that we get to see. And again, Elevate, for those that missed it, Elevate is rival is Yomi. So Elevate and rival, sort of like in all things like Call of Duty and otherwise, rival sponsors like a team that might make it. And if yeah. they do make it, then Elevate reaches out and they're like, you're ours now. <laughs> yep. Because, I don't know. 
if you're a good sponsor and you sponsor exactly if you if if you're a good sponsor and you sponsor a bunch of shitty teams that don't make it then you look like a shitty sponsor so you gamble in your like shell corp it's like honestly it's real it's really like standard for like how call of duty works yeah the console scene pc it's a little different you just sort of can't really get baited if you're exactly right like yeah just know what you're signing up to yeah. And check I, their I, domain I, information. <laughs> See who owns I will, the domain. I will, I will say that much. Uh, I I don't think there's any issue in the team elevate team rival situation, but I do think that it's a cautionary tale for those signing contracts out there to make sure that you know exactly what you're getting into. Yeah. Because well, this is a stretch. Ignorance of the law is not a defense. So, like, mm-hmm. if you didn't know that you were gonna get fucked, <sighs> sorry, bud. Just like yeah. you didn't know the speed limit was 40 and you were going 70, I don't feel bad for you. So <laughs> so we've got we've got Elevate versus Eager. Elevate, again, was ro- was Rival, was Yomi. Mm-hmm. So it's Giliara in the solo lane, now just Gilly. Metheria in the jungle, Met Yankee and Vis- Vesalius, who I screwed up yeah. so much during relegations. I'm so sorry. And unrelinquished mid. Not the best. The best subbed. Yeah, yeah, so, because I think Gilly was, like, on vacation, and then, uh, so they put Unrelinquished Solo, and then... That's when I want to go on vacation, yeah. during my relegation match the Pro League. That's what happens when you're a teenager. You go on <laughs> vacation, and you don't get a choice. Mom, I don't want to go to Disney World, I gotta play video games! <laughs> to be fair, I've had that same conversation with my mom. Yeah, yeah. Did you mom, it's progression! World? It's progression. I don't want to go to Colonial Williamsburg. I got to beat Moo <laughs> To be fair, nobody wants to go to Colonial Williamsburg. Well, those are the type of fucking vacations. I we I went uh, to Colonial Williamsburg. I went to Amish country three t- separate three? times. Three? What the fuck do you do? I mean, as a child. As a child. Like, but what as did a you four do? Year old, as a four-year-old, there was a really cool like toy train exhibit that I liked. And then my parents thought I would love it at 14. Mm-hmm. They got that wrong. Yeah. They got that real wrong. My parents just went to Ireland all the fucking time, and we sat in a house and, like, watched shitty television. It was great. And, like, hung out with shamans and shit. Yeah. Few times. That's where you got your little shark tooth necklace, right? No, that was in LA. It's not... No, 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 no. Don't you have, like, some, like, piece of metal that a shaman touched with his dick or something? <laughs> Wait. The one that's not actually a shark tooth, but we call shark tooth anyway? One of them's from LA. The other one's from, like, a druid. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. The yeah, druid, yeah, 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 yeah. The druids are better than shaman, period. Yeah, story, but like, well done. Yeah, yeah, like a fucking <laughs> healing rain sucks dick. Oh, Clow. <laughs> Clow comes in asking me about the rumors behind Cloud9 changing their solo laner. So if you didn't know, there are rumors about Cloud9 changing their solo laner. Well, Meg is listed as a solo laner on the website. That, I mean, honestly, I think there are rumors is enough conversation because it's like, ooh. Let's save that one for next episode, shall we? Yeah, let's see what happens. <laughs> basically, basically, folks, there are a lot of rumors out there. There's a lot of truth. There's a lot of falsehood. Uh-huh. But, like, really is not... We're not reporters. I'm not TMZ, because I don't give a shit who slept with who. I do give a shit who slept with who, because I want to know who still's out there. But Yeah, that's true. <laughs> but it's we're not reporters here, so I don't want to break any news. I'll report on the news when it's broken. I think Wolfie <laughs> should just play solo for every team. Wolfie should just be on every pro team. <laughs> Wolfie should just be listed as a sub on every roster. What I think legitimately should happen... Is he's the official so, ringer of the SPL, and if someone doesn't yes. show up, you have to play with Wolfie? Yes. Yeah. I want there to be a provision... He should be on retainer. Where high-res just, high just pays him. They give him, like, fucking a pound of Doritos a week <laughs> and $20 for, like, two pounds of Doritos. 40s from the bodega. Please, two pounds right? of Doritos. All right, two pounds of Doritos and a bunch of 40s from the bodega down to the yeah, block. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, every, and every now and then when he wins, as per a win, he gets the sandwich that he loves to talk about from the place around the corner. Yeah. yeah. Right? And, 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 on that, and on that retainer, Wolfie has to sub for anyone that doesn't show up. What happens if two people don't show up and they're on opposite teams? Well, then you get to pick between sun Wolfie touch. and Shin. You get sun touch. No, you get sun no. touch. <laughs> You get sun touch. 
Fine, you get Sun Touch, but the rule with Sun Touch is he can't play the same role twice in a row. <laughs> that's yeah, that's fair. <laughs> that's the rule. That's the rule. The chunks disbanded. That's sad to hear. They were together for about seventy-two hours. Wait, what? That was quick. Like really? I mean, you you said it was a powder keg. That's not surprising, <laughs> but like really? So like they scrimmed, they have sixth, and they quit. Is that how that worked? Well, <laughs> is that how that worked? I mean, what? I think that's it. I think that's it. <laughs> I'm going to reach out to Kabam. Let's see. Live reporting. Yeah, boys. go ahead. That, that sucks because Kabam's cool, dude. I want him to win. I think what a lot of teams, and so I'm going to put this out there. Challenger Cup, this split, doesn't really mean yeah. shit. It doesn't really mean anything. So well, pe- chat's, chat's saying Chunks so- didn't disband. All right, Clow. You had one chance. You pissed on it. I'm done with you. God damn it, I don't believe you anymore. God damn it, Clown. No, I, but I, so I, like I, I took the bait. What do what does the what does the Challenger Cup do? Like, is there a relegations? No, or is it just this, like is it just Challenger it, Bucks? It's just Challenger Bucks, um, which is important because as much as I like the Titan story. As much as I love yeah. it, sure. you, you remember me back then. It was that the shit Cinderella was story that I wanted. It was awesome. It was the mage rage. Right. It was so cool, but it would be really, really silly if, uh, let's, say the, let's say the Fat Chunks or, you know, random team. If Challenger Team won, right, they come in and they go to Worlds right now. That would suck. Yeah. We're sending two NA teams, two EU teams. If one of them was a Challenger team that, like, didn't have to play through the SPL, didn't have to jump through any of those hoops, gets in by beating a less, especially a team created in this split. Yeah. So you guys chill out, smoke weed all year. Well, especially right? because, like, think about it this way, right? So, four team, let's say, we'll just use uh, the last LAN, right? Like, from last year. Four teams mm-hmm. go to the finals, right? Okay, and there's six teams in the SPL. And, right. Or eight, whatever. We'll do eight. Right, so the four teams go to the LAN, the other four teams disband. Like... Probably not now, but like maybe <laughs> at some point their rosters would cease to exist, and this new challenger team's just like, all right, well, as a roar, I own this team, and I'm gonna pick up lasses and divios and like and just like whoever the fuck he wants because they get to go to worlds, you know, like right. There's like potential for that sort of shit. Yeah, I, 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 so I think relegations happen after Worlds, where where these teams get to like relegate for the spring split of twenty six. Okay, but like, right? The but Challenger like, Cup is still a relegation series. A, a, exactly, it's, it, but it's not to get into the league to fight for Worlds because that would be silly. So I think I, I think no. the one the case is is that it relegates for the spring split, if I'm not mistaken, I which I could was, be. I think it was also okay for uh, Titan to do that because like. That was when we only had six teams in the SBL, and Titan yeah. was clearly the seventh. Right. Exactly. Actually, they're the, really more like the fifth. <laughs> the fifth. It was a smaller league, and I mean, not for nothing, I view it as a learning experience. I mean, it's it's literally the second season, and I don't know. That That's where the league had to sort of like learn and grow and be like, this was cool, and it's a good thing that it was cool. If yeah. Titan... If Titan got to Worlds over a worthy team and then shit out in the first round, that would have been a lot worse than if they had it made also, it to the like, finals. <laughs> it also depends on how you run Worlds, right? Like, right now for Smite, it's regional invites. Like, you get two, you get two, you get two, you get two, whatever. Right. Right? But, like, Dota has, like, wild cards and all this other shit. And then well, there's, like, Dota online qualifiers. Well, Dota is completely different. And you need I a mean, PhD to understand the brackets. But my point is, like... The wild card story has a place in Dota, and it doesn't have a place in Smite. Well, I mean, like, Dota is quite literally an invitational where, like, yeah. y'all can play, do whatever you want. It's as if I invent a game, right? I invent Tiddly Jacks. Yeah. And y'all think it's awesome, and y'all play in your own leagues, and you create, le- and I don't give a shit. I just sit here collecting money. And then when it comes close to August, I go, huh. I've sort of been following your home leagues, sort of not. I like these teams. Come here and fight. Like that—that's what Dota is. That's what Dota is. So, 
<laughs> it's a much different situation. Here we actually have like leagues and stories and yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's it's a little different. Well, the wild card has a spot, but I don't think it has a spot for worlds. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. It, it's something that you could talk about, and it's also like, is worlds technically an invitational? Like, could high res mm. technically just invite whoever, or is it like it has to be these people who qualify? Blah blah blah. Uh, so it's it's an invitational that you have to go through the yeah, uh, individual so like, tech, yeah. like C9 qualifies for worlds and then they all die in a plane crash and that would be horrible but like could Hyros just invite somebody else of their choice or uh, <laughs> that was an extreme as, example that escalated as, very quickly as somebody close to like league operations I hope I never have to have that yeah. conversation that would be a really shitty like, conversation <laughs> Jesus Christ! I guess but the point is just that it's here. Like, you know what? We'll here. Look, if the if if extenuating circums if extenuating circumstances prevent a qualified team from joining the world championship, Crit. Now I gotta watch the planes that they take and make sure you're nowhere near them. Yeah. Well, you know, I'm just really <laughs> mad at Barrett. If right extenuating now. circumstances happen, I imagine the third place team would be taken. Mm-hmm. Right. So if it's one and two qualify and one, like, ex- I won't say that. <laughs> if something happens so that they can't play, yeah, I'm yeah. sure the second and third yeah. team, like, high res wouldn't just be like, uh, hey, we really like a Duro. Go grab four friends. Come on down. You and uh-huh. Wolfie, let's go. Like, Dude, it would be sounds good. for the SPL. <laughs> so uh, I talked to Kabam. Chunks did disband. Damn, son. That was quick. Wow. Did he say why? Uh, no, but I talked to Narian, who is working with Elevate, and apparently there were two 10-minute surrenders in a row in scrims. Bum, 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 ba, dum. <laughs> like, that sucks. What are you going to do? Uh, not playing the sp- or not playing the Challenger Cup, I guess. That's for sure. Yeah. As I said before, I mean, it's not really... Voila. Yeah. I would... I would... I would play the Challenger Cup this split if I really wanted to practice with a set squad. But otherwise, I would just walk around scrimming people to find that set squad for springtime. Well, I think you just play in the Challenger Cup and, like, you know, hopefully make some money off of it. And if you get an offer from an SPL team, like, word. Yeah, that's also also a big thing. Yeah. SPL teams can always mid-season poach from the Challenger Cup. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's important. It's an important part of the league. To the max. Somebody give my man Awesome to the Max a job. God damn it. He's I think been awesome writing the, for like a long time. I th- and and I think he's fine. Like I remember Austin to the Max being in like Brandon's chat before it blew up and Tear Monster when I had 20 viewers. Awesome to the Max has been a part of the Smite scene forever. He's been grinding. He hasn't been good forever. No. But now he's good. Yeah, awesome. Max was on a I think he's a, team with like he's King a, Taco, and it it was yep. it was. Yup, yeah, I I remember King Taco. Yeah, yeah, yeah I remember bad. that shit. What were they called when we were running the Challenger League last year, Crit? Uh, Panda Bears. Panda Bears, yeah. Oh. And and awesome Max these days, eight teams in the in the North American SPL. I think he is a top four solo later yeah uh well according to some people in chat he has real life commitments which you yeah, gotta no, respect that's what, no, that, that, that's, that's what he said yeah he said he he tweeted that out because i remember after he after they failed qual- uh relegations the literal first thing i did like we got off the broadcast i yeah. said see you later i grabbed my phone and i tweeted to off to the max i was like dude fucking keep playing smite don't care just keep it up man and he responded like, ah, I don't know. Smite's dope. I'm good. I'm not sad, but I have other shit going on. And I respect that. But goddamn, if you find a second, somebody pay this man. Yeah. No, <laughs> like, he's, somebody he's good. pay this man. He's good. Yeah. He's a chill dude, too. So, I mean, but I think that's just sort of the concern, right? Like, the SPL's at the point where it pays pretty decently. That's cool. And it can kind of support yeah. you a little bit and keep you, keep you playing and... It's a part-time job at the very like it's, exactly. It's, it's comparable to what I used to make at GameStop in high school. But right? like, like sometimes you just have a. Sometimes you're just enrolled in Notre Dame and you got theoretical yeah, exactly. math classes. Yeah, and I mean like it. And your name is Nansan, and you're Kurt. <laughs> so I mean like it. Yeah, the SPL 
pays comparatively speaking to uh, a part-time job, but if you want to be the best of the best, you're putting in more hours than that player play in in the part-time job, right? So and like, more and more effort, of course. Like it's a part-time uh, exactly. job who gives a shit versus like you know, you want to be Zapman and win worlds or whatever. Uh, exactly. So it's, you know, a little bit of this, a little of that. TV in chat is also one of those guys. I know that TV said that he was focusing on on uh what's it called? On stream, but He's there's there's the, a lot the of Wolfie, these like swing the players effect. that are exactly there there are a lot of these like swing players out there where like I don't know it would be very interesting to see like all of the Wolfie plus caliber players like TV Wolfie also the Max etc go out and like slam on a team Soul Shiner would you include Soul Shiner in there he's inconsistent but I think he's up there I think I think Soul Shiner yeah I mean Soul Shiner is really like suffering from the Nanton effect like he plays D one football <laughs> like <laughs> sorry. Sorry, Memphis. I got to go almost be pro in video games. I, I get that decision. I get yeah, that, dude. Yeah. Sorry, Tigers. I'm, uh, I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. But yeah, I mean, so, so it's, it's... Smite won't ever be at the point where, like, it makes sense to quit college to almost make it, right? Well, hopefully. And I mean, well. like, well, sure. But I mean, like, I don't think any eSport is there. Even the LCS. Hmm. It's like, that's where traditional sports are, right? Like, well, not even. If, I mean, if you don't go to college because you signed the vet, because you signed the rookie minimum of $200,000 a year for the mm. NBA, I'm not judging you, dude. <laughs> I <laughs> am. You, Put your education first. But if you don't go to college so you could make $1,000 a month or less than that in the Challenger Cup, I mean, I respect your drive and effort. But you may have to reevaluate your decision. So it's it's close. It's close. Flareboot thinks that the stars are the gatekeepers to the yeah. FPL and EU. The, actually, well, yeah. No, I mean, they don't right? open. They just don't open the gate. They're like, look, we're in relegations and we're not going to lose. And then they, it's so funny. Stars kind of get shit on in the SPL, and then they take all of that rage. And they just shit on the teams that come against them. They destroy <laughs> them. It's, it's crazy. You know it it's it's the it's like the water boy for the football squad trouncing people in dodgeball into murals. That's what happens. Yeah, it's like the kid that gets beat up in the in, in the sports practice because he's the worst on the team. But then when it's intramurals time, mm. it's time to go. Yeah, <laughs> Flair, stop being so salty. God damn, we think you're good. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, man. No, you know what? Their team is funny. I don't care. Flavor's got something in his shirt today. It is what it is. It's and old like, style Flavor. Like, they took a game off Fnatic. Exactly. Ever. That makes yep. you good forever. Even, and even if, let's even pretend, which they weren't, I know the guys from Fnatic and I know the guys from Paradigm. They weren't trolling. Let's pretend like they were trolling. Beating those teams while they're trolling is still difficult. Yeah. Like, the high risk versus pros games? Not difficult. Those pros don't, tr those pros are not trying. No. But they still go 801 yeah. against, like, you know, like, you beating those people, even if they were trolling, which they weren't, is still a I mean, that's like, just like you encounter a pro in casuals and he's playing, like, Sun Wukong mid and shits on you. He's playing Sun Wukong mid and you, like, maybe kill him once and he's like, that will never happen again. <laughs> <laughs> Lobster brings out that his Uller mid has granted more elo than his Agni mid. <laughs> there you go. Um, Lobster. That's and also, you like, feed EU casuals is dangerous. EU casuals If you queue no with more than about. one other person who has decent elo, fun ball. Immediately. He's there. <laughs> He's waiting for you. I mean, that's, that's all Zelia plays. Yeah. That's all he does. <laughs> So. Derek, Derek actually the other day he was saying he plays a lot of casual games and I'm like good they have better matchmaking you'll be less annoying yeah yeah Rock, casual uh, matchmaking actually the shit it's good. yeah it was funny my um you know Rock Eater and Nick Pie no well my friends Rock Eater and Nick Pie that you know uh just shit on Met Yankee yesterday actually <laughs> good yeah like awesome like they're doing like <laughs> I told you about the really game I played bad. with Kiki Jiki right oh I'm sorry that is. I distanced myself from that guy. No, but online. like I told you about that game, right? No, you didn't. What happened? Uh, Kiki is another one of my associates, I, I guess. Let, let me just put it this way. We got up against Shadow Q. 
<laughs> in the no. second game oh. he had played in six months. <laughs> I'm. I have no comment. <laughs> That's unfair. So Kiki Jiki, Kiki Jiki is a is a member of like my gaming crew, mm-hmm. but. He has a tendency to, like, be salty and, well, an asshole online, which we all have that friend, which is why I don't really queue with him and et cetera. But he's still, like, a no, friend we of won. mine, right? Sure. But, he, went, so he, he went Super Saiyan. Super Saiyan so bad. <laughs> so, yeah, so, so that's pretty good. But anyway, it, it was just funny. Uh, there's, a, there's a personal connection, but there's a negative personal connection between Kiki and Shadow. So that's funny, and I enjoy that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Link it the was game like, man. I'll have to find it. We gotta win this. <laughs> that that is really good. That is really good. I mean, casuals can be a lot of. That's that's all I really play. And you run into different people. So, uh, shout to all of the hardest craziness. game of my life. So, Cloud thinks Madman Mark is gonna join Cloud Nine. Madman Mark's really good. Could be a lot of people. There's, Do you think Madman like Mark, Mark is at that level so. though? I think a lot. Here's here here's the thing, and and like I said, we we scrimmed with Valentine recently because totally couldn't make right. it. Um, you take a challenger player who has like mechanical skill and the ability to communicate, and you put him on an SPL team. Their level of play will immediately jump. Yeah, you think so? Because a lot of the reason that challenger teams are challenger teams and play like challenger teams and aren't as good as SPL teams mm-hmm. is just because they're challenger teams. Like, it's just... Because they don't go up against the same level of competition. No, it's it's just the fact... It's like, by virtue of being an SPL team with five SPL players or four SPL players, you're just better because right. everyone will play better and, like you know your shit and you move around well and the calls are better and the picks are better and like there's so much shit that challenger players can't fuck up if they're the only challenger player on the team that makes sense that like that other people will just cover for them naturally yeah and it's also a big part of like being around players not necessarily just veterans yeah. but players that are, are are there right so like i mean even I'll go for my own, like, as a commentator, right? Or, or as an as a esports quote-unquote talent. Like, when I worked, launch tournaments unfair because that was Baby's first event, right? But so when mm-hmm. we did Worlds, okay, Holly Furfer, uh, she was brought in. By the way, Matt Yankee, there, there's your link. Um, when we did Worlds, uh, Holly Furfer was brought in by hi And Holly Furfer is a CNN anchor. And she noted that we all had sort of, like, natural talent. That's why we're here. but. We did a lot of, like, incorrect things. And, and just being around her, sure, that she taught me things directly, yeah. but also just seeing the way she was, seeing what she did in her, in her day-to-day go through sort of teaches you, oh, I noticed that she does X, Y, Z. Maybe, maybe I should do X, Y, Z. And that's sort of a great, this, I think this is a fantastic opportunity for, uh, if, the, if that's the case. For, yeah, for I remember Mary she, Mark. wasn't she at uh, playoffs Regionals as well. As well. Yeah, yeah, she's yeah. at playoffs, yeah. Yeah, it was really great. Yeah, so I mean, like you have that, you have that direct, like this is me telling you what to do, and then you have that, you know, I, I notice she holds her hands a certain way when she's talking to people. That must, I get it. Yeah, you know, sweet, I'll do that too. And now I don't look like Ricky Bobby not knowing what to do with my hands. <laughs> so you know, small things like that. So to translate that to, to Man Man Mark, you know, being there, just seeing, oh shit, you know, that's. Look how Zapman does that every single time. Maybe I should do that every single time. Right? Just the small things. Everybody, yeah. He's been playing ranked at a high level. You should level, watch Shing play. But... Why is that? So you can copy the way he uses his, uh, you know, mechanically does the keyboard. With the, the, the arrows and the numlock. Yeah, so for those of you who don't know, and there, I don't think there's really been, like, much picture evidence of this. But... There isn't. But Shing plays with the arrow keys, and like his thumb and index finger do shit on the number pad, and that's how he plays. And it's it's weird, completely weird. And then who's it's the really lefty? Weird. Some one of the Repikas. Guys, yeah, Repikas is a lefty. Repikas is a lefty. That's why he hits Thorolds. Repikas is a lefty, and Reels he uses WASD, but he hits D with his thumb. Mm-hmm. It's really weird. Try try to do that right now. 
He hits D with his thumb. So what? It's like his index finger is on S. It, he he has it... he has all four fingers. So he has he's got his middle finger on D, his yeah. his pointer finger on W, and it's not like it's it's just fucking weird. I don't get it, man. That that's weird. But I think he's objectively the best hunter in Europe. So get fucked. <laughs> I, I was I was sitting in Dare's room and watching him play yesterday, and he. I don't know what it is he does, because he uses, like, a naga, so most of the stuff is with his mouse hand. But, right, like, right. for some reason when he does stuff, his finger just jumps. And I'm like, what the fuck is he doing with his finger? <laughs> Every so often, he just goes like... Poof. I'm like, the fuck is this? Is this a flourish? Just, just moves his finger. That's weird. People, people have weird tendencies, man. Like, if you actually watch people use their keyboards, it's it'll freak you out. But, like... like... I mean, what Christy says in the chat, he makes it work. What can I say? That's the best, that's what it comes the down most to, right? important like, thing, though, is that you jump every possible moment. My jump is on tilde, so it's actually tough for me to jump. Oh, that's my auto run key. It's a really auto good auto run key. <laughs> it is a really good. It's auto right key. there. I auto run all the time. <laughs> Lobster, my favorite fucking really troll. Thank you for coming every week. By the way, yeah. he rebound jump to mouse scroll down. That's so awesome. Just... <laughs> Especially, spin the wheel. especially if you have one of those like mouses where you can click it and like uh, un, where it, it'll just scroll forever. Like it un, undoes the scroll, so you just spin it. Like, uh, oh yeah, oh yeah, you know that that sound. <laughs> just just <laughs> jump forever. Yeah. A APC has that. APC one of my favorite tendencies because it was in the game for like two weeks. Where if you jumped and got stunned midair, you would keep going. Yep. So like. Every time Lassus gets Agni bombed, he jumps. Yep, yep. Yeah. It's just, yeah. It, it, so APC has that mouse where you can unlock the wheel. Oh, it's and it just makes that annoying noise. Yeah. Yeah. My, uh, my office is next to him. And you basically, it, it like, it's, it, this is how it goes. APC goes, APC just goes, he, you hear him and he's typing. God damn it! Zzz, 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 zzz. <laughs> like <laughs> that's his. He just spins the wheel. That's his like stress ball. Like it's so <laughs> funny. Because every time I hear him like get aggravated, I'm like, here it comes. And you wait. Zzz, zzz. <laughs> it's that's so good. funny. <laughs> good, good, good. I thankfully I have I have a steel series at work, just in case I ever need to impromptu play a Counter Strike game. <laughs> there you go. You're ready. <laughs> like just just. Oh shit, the alarm's going off! Gotta go play mid! Smoke mid! Smoke mid! Right? <laughs> Always gotta be ready. Always gotta be ready. <laughs> so, uh, you know, you gotta, you gotta always be ready, but... Yeah, I mean, it, people do different things as far as... And I always bring up in, in my personal streams and people... Because I play uh, Q, E, R, space bar mm -hmm. are my, like, key bindings, and I always get shit for it. But I always bring up um, back when I was doing, like... Uh, when I was accepting or denying people into high into moderately high end, end WoW guilds, mm -hmm. where I require a screenshot of your UI and I require you to tell me all of your keybinds. If they're weird, that doesn't there is no like right or wrong. I want you to show them to me and explain them to me. Because yeah. it doesn't matter if you use T F G H for movement. If you explain like, well, this is why I can hit more buttons and blow. That's all that matters. Mm -hmm. It matters. Like, is can I play how Shing plays? No, but Shing's a fucking pro well, league sometimes player. Sometimes you also just like get really. I remember in in vanilla, like concussion blow was bound to like F seven. I could press that shit in <laughs> half a second though. It wasn't a problem. Yeah, exactly. Like, like we all have. You don't need ticks. it that often, and like you just sort yeah. of jump your hand. So. My consumables are F1 and F2, yeah. right? Because yeah. it's quick enough to hit, but I can move my hands, right? And, mm -hmm. and it's all about what works for you. Yeah. So, I mean, Repikos is lefty. That's different, I guess. But Reels is weird and Shing is weird, but they're killing it. So, it, there is no, like, right or wrong. The one thing that I want to see you more of well. from pro players is binding more things to instant cast. You don't I, need to yeah. aim Agni's one. You I, fucking yep. don't. Like, I don't care who you are. I, the, the, I think the worst offenders are the are like the the frontal cones, like yeah. Agni's two or Hebo's water hands. Like th there is no, you know what your aim is? You're fucking directional. Yeah. Which way are you facing, dog? Like yeah, <laughs> or like anything anything you do after a blink, like 
you're not aiming after you blink. You go bam, bam. Like you're not yeah, taking time fearless. to aim. You don't need to <laughs> aim taunt. You don't. You don't need to aim nope. freeze. I want to nope. see. I want to see more instant cast because it is faster. And that you, so like quick cast works. Kev Fisher says quick cast works. Quick cast is yep. okay. Yeah. I mean, like, I like instant because I know my abilities. But yep. and, and to be fair, like uh, old meta when hog was a thing for supports, like there was no reason not to switch all your actives to instant. You don't need to know. You don't need to aim creeping curse if you don't know how big your creeping curse is. You need to learn. Hog was the worst offender. I mean, yeah. I... Yeah, that's I, the one thing that, like, legitimately 100% mattered. I found pros mattered. that didn't know that. Yeah. I found pros that didn't know that Hog could be on instant cast. And I... Like I said, I won't, I won't ever criticize the way a pro does something. The way yeah. a pro does something. You know, I, can, I will point out a mistake. And blah, 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 blah. We had that conversation last week. But I won't criticize the way you go about things. If you use instant cast wait, or... Wait, wait. Snoopy doesn't know. Dude, if you switch your whole game over from, like, normal cast to instant cast, the actives all ah! switch. God damn it, Snoopy! If you switch your whole game from normal to quick cast, your actives all switch. Yeah. God damn it. Yeah, you could switch your actives. You can't switch them individually, which kind of sucks. So you can't, like, just have Hog on instant cast. But well, you can like, put your whole game on instant and then individually individually change which each. which is a bitch. But if you're a support right. player, your hog should be on instant, or at least it should I, have I been watched, on instant. I, I watched support players miss hog steals or hog confirms because yeah. it wasn't on instant. Yeah, yeah. Like it's less it's less of a thing. It's not now. a thing now. Like nobody gives a shit now, and yeah. you don't have to. And like, dude, if you've been playing for 18 years, like, don't let me <laughs> or F dot tell you how to play the game. <laughs> exactly. And I don't give a shit. Right, exactly. I mean, when it comes down to it, you know, if you're if you're in the SPL with normal yeah. cast, there's well, word and, and power to you. Like, but to be I will fair, ask you to show me an Agni Flame Wave Noxious Fumes combo. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and and there are also like so, man. This is gonna get really nitty gritty, but like, auto attacks have wind ups, right? Like. Some auto attacks take longer to hit than others. For example, Thor's auto attack is faster than Serket's auto attack. And you know that because mm -hmm. Serket feels like she is walking through butter when she tries to auto attack someone. It's fucking ridiculous. <laughs> Another example is Kabrakin's one. He goes from attacking super slow to attacking super fast. Yep. Hunters have that too. So, so there's a thing called auto attack canceling where you shoot an auto attack and immediately fire an ability. The easiest person to do this is on Cupid. Because you, you just sir? Yeah, Cupid. left click one click and you'll like see an arrow and then a heart follow and like there you go and you basically get a free auto attack if you do it right a character like on her cupid doesn't have any wind up on his auto attacks the moment you click it fires plus right. latency mm -hmm, mm -hmm. on her does he pulls his hand back for like 0.15 of a second so if you're too fast you might too furious if you're too fast and too furious you might shoot your impale and you might not auto attack and then you'll lose 100 damage which could drop well. a kill so, like, normal cast can help with that. Because it, it like, does slow you down. So you're met less likely to do it too fast. On the other hand, instant cast is just faster. So, <laughs> it's, it's like, literally, it's whatever you're comfortable with, but instant cast and quick faster, faster than normal, normal cast. And there you go. <laughs> it's just a little bit faster. I've been losing it. Lobster. We were talking about the 2-1 Agni combo in chat. He was like, yeah, I can do it on normal. It's possible if you Baba Yetu that shit. Do you know what Baba Yetu is? No. It's the, it's the Civ 4 theme. What? It, it, I'm guessing that there's a reference that I'm not getting, because all I know Baba Yetu as Dude, this is the is, fucking this Civ is, 4 theme. But it's lobster, It's just probably something so European, So it could man. be the Civ 4 theme. It's, this is the new Cheeky Nando's, like... He's just saying it to troll everyone not from Europe. And everyone from Europe knows that he's not saying anything, and that's it. Pretty much. It's, no, it's the way that we say it in, in Austria, where blah, blah, blah. God. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Nope, that's it, actually. It's just to sim. I'm done. I, I don't even understand. <laughs> <laughs> like, it just is a support thing. Yeah. Well, all right. Alright. Okay. So, <laughs> so well, Chad, if you don't G. know, pro players are fucking weird. <laughs> That's the truth. 
<laughs> so anyway, we're talk we're we we'll get into a little bit of the split. But if you guys have something that you want to bring up or talk about, yeah, go for it. We're totally down. This is one of those. Uh, it's the beginning of the split, so we largely look to you guys. Chat. We've got about a half hour. Nobody's announced the roster changes yet, except for Dignitas. You want to talk about? Actually, so I, so I want I want to ask to you about that in general. Um, mm -hmm. I want to. So one of the biggest things, one of the biggest questions that I get from like the non avid viewer fans are. Yeah. Who the hell is playing for what team? Yeah. But but Jairez, every Monday, Tuesday, per the rules, gets a list of who's playing on these teams. Is it important for you guys to hold that close to the chest? I think partially... I'm talking to Coach Cret right now. I think partially right now, it's just like... Teams were like, word, we've got a break between the summer split and the fall split. Let's take a nap. Fuck, the SPL is next week? We gotta change our roster! Ah! <laughs> so, like, I, I think, yeah, teams don't really know who's playing. And, but, no, you just list but, Wolfie but is on your roster, because maybe he's But, playing. I mean, is, it, is that important to be a secret? Is that important to be a secret? Would it, basically, what I'm asking is, if the league put out a, here's who's checked in every Tuesday, would that be bad? I just would hope Wolfie would be listed on every team. Because that's like I, I'm. I, I I'm mean, asking, as I'm long asking as both. Like... I know there's. I know there's pro players in chat, and I know, and I'm asking Coach Cret because that's something that I think would help a lot of fans that are casual viewers just keep up. Because at the end of the day, the world of of pro gaming, world of pro smite, is yeah. really tumultuous. If you want to like keep track of your favorite team, unless it's TSM, Fnatic, or Cloud Nine or Titan, you're kind of fucked. And even then, watch out. I mean, I don't think, like, I don't think it really matters, and I also don't know if it would help, right? Because, like, it's just like, yeah, here are all the people that they checked in with, and then, like, sometimes you'll see that enemy added, I don't know. But, I mean, that's like... Kabam to their roster, and you're like, word, Kabam is now listed as their roster. Maybe they'll play him this week. But they can't. They have to be checked in by Tuesday. No, no, that's that what week. I mean. It's like on Tuesday, like you'd be like, "Oh, enemy normally has these seven people, and now they added an eighth. Maybe they're gonna play him this week." And that's your fucking article. And like, eh. well, it's less of an article. It's less of an article and more of like, here are the rosters. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's, it's not like generating content. It's just like. You know, for the, that fan that can't watch really every week, he should be watching the VODs on YouTube.com slash Kratata. But for those of you that can't watch really and can't catch all the blogs by Dan, et cetera, et cetera. Just blogs having a by weekly, Dan. Here's a weekly You show know what my up. favorite tar part about blogs by Dan was? What? When there were a bunch of people writing blogs and they all said Dan's name on them. I wrote under high-res Dan's name for about a year. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> Basically, if you want to know which ones are mine, everything good is written by me. Uh -huh. Everything bad is written by Adonis. And everything, everything not funny is written by Spiff Sinister. <laughs> Pretty much. I'm just kidding. <laughs> so, not really. So, yeah, so, yeah uh, guys, pros, hit me up on Twitter if you have a big problem with that. Because, realistically, I think going forward, just putting out the rosters every Tuesday is interesting for like, there's no reason not to, I don't, right? Yeah, there's no like, reason not to. I mean, I guess <laughs> it would just make teams, like, have to announce their roster changes on Monday or whatever. No. As opposed to, like, surprise, poor bear Mike. But, Which, exactly, like, it's it's better I, I, it, it's, it's better for the broadcast. It's, it's better probably for the... better. Yeah. yeah, so. It would also probably mean that teams wouldn't be like, fuck, it's Monday, we have SPL all week, what are we, who are we gonna bench? <laughs> Pretty much. Somebody brought something up before the drug comment. Here. Um, oh. This doesn't really relate to pro smite, mm -hmm. but because of a lot of... I can rationalize basically anything. Anyway, hi, I'm Lucha says, how about the discussion that the main smite game, smite game stream could be seen as more detrimental for other streamers? As one of those other streamers, I'll tell you that's completely wrong, and that is an argument that only yeah. losers make. Not implying you're a loser. 
But you know those you know those streamers out there that get like fifteen viewers, credit, ten to fifteen viewers that complain about Smite Game. Yeah. That's the reason they're not getting viewers. Yeah, no, no one will watch them anyway. Smite Smite Game shut down for six months, eight months, and nobody watched them then. <laughs> and and Smite Game was hosting people. Right. There was a Smite list Game... of people Smite Game would just like randomly host. Yeah, so it it, I, it was interesting. The the Smite Game when they when they shut down the casual the twenty four hour casual stream. It went the other direction, um, in the sense that we empowered smaller. We we empowered. No, I know Lucha. We empowered the smaller, uh, the 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 smaller streamers. There was a list of, uh, there were so old Smite game mods were all like everybody was unmodded essentially, and people got to volunteer of those old mods got to volunteer to be something called like an ambassador, and they would they would watch a stream and be like. Hey, this guy TV is funny and cool. He's a little short, but I think he's good for the and community. And Smite Game so. is perfect because then you won't read his chat. Exactly. And so we and so we added people like that onto a list that you know people could host whenever somebody wasn't playing. And that I mean, did it work? Not. I mean, it, it didn't not work. But at the end, we were hosting people for like thirty viewers. So. It wasn't really that big of a deal. And so this is a turnaround. It's specific people. It's the high-end pros that we have. And it's not 24 hours. I'm sorry, TV. It's not 24 hours. And it's, it's just so right now, if you guys are unfamiliar, it's Lazis in the morning, followed by stealth. MLC Stealth, followed by who's the mid game? Mesmerize? Who's the mid guy? Mesmerize is after this next person. Mid. No, okay, so it's it's Laz's, MLC Stealth, Incon, Mesmerize, Barracuda. Okay. So it's the top guys. It's the top guy. It, well, no, 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 no. It's it's some of the streamers that were most requested. It's basically just super popular streamers on the same channel. Yes. So you just keep watching forever, and then Twitch exactly. viewership goes up. And and the reason for that is sure Twitch viewership went up, but there wasn't a spot. For newer viewers to really land on, like, mm. I mean, Brandon is really not a newer viewer place to go. Incon is a good newer viewer place to go, but he's you know he's not always streaming. He's not a twenty four hour stream. Yeah, and so it's for the pros that stream on on Smite Game. It's for the newer viewer to come in. Hey, this is the company stream. Uh, what is Changa? I don't know what she does. Well, you know, and the streamers that stream and on there understand. And to tell you how that works. Right. And the streamers, the streamers there, like, understand that it's a little different. And, I mean, as a person that used to stream on my game and my own channel, it's interesting because it's like clocking in to a job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you can, like, feel, all right, I'm here for three hours to teach people why you don't jungle Agni. Right, and like, then you would jungle Agni, and, and then I jungle Agni because go home. But, <laughs> <laughs> but like that's you know that's the uh, it, it's a different feeling from a streamer's perspective and from the audience perspective. There's finally a home. I mean, there were a lot of names out there. I mean, Omri, who's probably in chat right now, is my like he, he's a longtime viewer of mine that came from Smite Game, and, and he was yeah. one of those people that uh, Omri six, seven, Oh, yeah, nine, yeah, yeah, eight. I know that guy. Yeah, yeah, he's a cool guy. Yeah, he's, he, he's a really cool dude in the scene. And he kind of, like, originated he's from Smite Game. He's not in chat, game. though. That's... Uh, I wonder where he is. But anyway... I don't know. Um, there was, like, a whole group of people that lived in Smite Game chat. They would just watch everybody stream, and, and it kind of felt like deforestation. Like, when you cut down a bunch of trees and all the little rodents and squirrels have no place to go... That sucked. Now it's back and all the little rodents and squirrels have a place to go. It sounds really offensive. <laughs> Ratataskers. But essentially, we took a home away from a lot of people. Mm. I, I remember what I felt like when the Cody and Camry message board were deleted for the first time. That sucks. You took away... You took away Mount Yankees three viewers. For only $8 <laughs> every 45 minutes, you too can save Met Yankee stream. <laughs> Uh, that's oh well. Chat. Also, chat. Don't DM brand circle jerk. Don't do it. Yeah, I didn't see any of that. If I did, y'all yeah, would have been gone. Really? Anyway. Anyway. So I mean, Smite game. It doesn't hurt 
the smaller streamers. And I can say that as someone who had three viewers when Smite Game was at its absolute peak. Before I was involved in Smite, I was streaming to three viewers. Smite Game was in full force. I did it. So. <laughs> what did you I do? am proof in the pudding that, I mean, I, I, I mean, I'm here today, right? I don't have three viewers. That's my point, is that you, That's like, Smite Game me. isn't stealing your viewers. Because I'm really hot and I wear V-necks. How, are we done yet? No, we got, we got another 15, 15 fucking minutes. Minutes. God, right. I, I dread every Tuesday dealing with this game. <laughs> Mafication! I Hell love yeah, it. Dude. I love it. I love it. One, yeah. of the, one of the earliest. I streamed before first period, math. That's, that's what I'm talking about. So, so my game doesn't shit on people. I mean, just in the last... I mean, think of... I could probably think of... Uh, streams that succeeded through Smite Game. Smite Game is not the audience you want anyway. It's a new mm. audience you have to sort of like play. You I need mean, to pull you... people out of Smite Game, basically. Exactly. I mean, Smite Game is Smite Game is the new people lobby, mm -hmm. and then Wait. people find out about you, and then they come to your chat. Does Smite Game have any EU streamers? Not at those. the moment. They're no. all North American, and yeah. I got shit for that on Twitter. I got shit for that saying, what about Get Fisher and his 15 viewers and no webcam and horrible quality? No, no slander intended, but I guess it, it happened. <laughs> Rip Oops. you. Oops. <laughs> My point is, is that outside of SunTouch, who was asked and could not do it because of previous engagements, there aren't really any top-end European streamers. Yeah, I mean, Smite Game is... It's premier streamers. Like, it is. Everyone is getting pretty decent viewership on their own. So, there you go. A exactly. And, and the idea... <laughs> sorry, I'm not sorry, Fisher. <laughs> and, and let me get to my point afterwards. You could you you be mad at me on Twitter or whatnot. But what I'm saying... So, like, they're top Wait, end streamers. Wait, you're up? Warchi. Sure, I'll Twitter? give you Warchi. Yeah, okay, I'll yeah, Warchi. I'll give you Warchi. Wait, he is on Smike MESP, isn't he? Yes, and he speaks go. primarily Spanish. That's right. So... It's a, so Smite Game is an English stream that tries to grab, tries to entertain like from a from a fucking like high res studio standpoint. And Raffer's not Smite Game friendly is not an issue. You can because you can change like not change, but I mean you turn it off. You just it, stop it's a, it's, saying it's a, it's a job. Fuck fuck. Like yeah, I mean like dude, part of sales is being charismatic and personal. When I was doing sales. A large part of my success was because I was me, but I'm not going to go up and be like, yo, what the fuck is up, man? You see that dank meme? I'm not going to sell anything. But, that's actually you know? how Freddy sells memes. <laughs> that's, that's how Freddy sells shit. But I mean, that, that's, that's what Smite Game is about. You clock in, clock out, blah, blah, blah. So, what, you, you got the NA dudes, and they, they were all, like I said, we approached Suntouch. Suntouch couldn't because he had other shit going on. But the problem is... And if this lights a fire under European players, go ahead. I'm excited. Then stream. But it's, exactly. There is no there is no equivalent to outside of SunTouch to any of these pros that are on right now. Incon streams every day with a webcam, high quality, uh, high quality image will answer your questions. Lazis is extremely fun to watch. Uh, doesn't really like he'll interact with his viewers when he can, but it's all about like he has fun with the game. Yeah. Gets a lot of viewers, you know. And sometimes I, I walk mean, into his room and bring him food <laughs> and bring him down. And MLC and Stealth too. is just MLC Stealth is just so exceedingly nice. polite. He's it's, too polite. He is. He is M. There's no right. B. He's just M. He's very mannered. And so, <laughs> so I, I'm being spammed with Mogao. I'm just being spammed with Mogao. Mogao is not approached. And that's, I mean, they, there's you got to make your mark. FR too. You got to make your mark. Isn't there? Yeah, there is. There's. You got to make game, your mark. There? Essentially, I'm not like I. I've seen Mogash stream once or twice. He wasn't streaming with the camera. That's a big deal. Yeah, that's a big deal. Um, you have to solidify yourself as worthy. Smite game is not a launch point. For streamers, Smite Game is a spot for established streamers to promote the right. game. Because, well, this is a different <laughs> Smite Game, right? Like the old Smite Game was a launch point for streamers. It had a lot to do with some of the growth for some of the better streamers. And right, and because, that was different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It totally is. It, it's a, like Smite, Smite Game used to be a launch point. 
That's when I was streaming. Now it's not. Mm-hmm. Now it's it's not it's not twenty four hours. It's ten to ten or ten to one a.m. Right? Yeah. Um. And it's it's so Confrey, Zelia, and Replicas. Zelia has never streamed. I, I've never seen a Zelia stream with a camera on. I've seen Replicas stream in once or twice. Confrey streams low quality. It and. I don't mean to toss shade. These are objective. Yeah, yeah. Like these it's are these like are objective observation. So now, if if everybody street and it has nothing to do with NA versus EU, there is no NA bias from high rank. When players are when when it comes to having players live on a desk, maybe there's an NA bias because two hundred dollars for a plane ticket's a lot less than like a thousand dollars, right? But. I've watched these streams, guys. I've watched these streams. I'm getting smoked. Like these, these are not what you want to represent your the like the the front page with. Essentially, the I mean, I I, <laughs> I just I mean, lobster, lobster is the one person in this chat that's being rational. No one but Sun touching you has an actual schedule, which is yeah. part of it. Yeah. Part of it is being consistent. Part like once you, uh, once so you, I saw someone in chat say no one like would anyone. What about like Ataraxia or like uh, Zelia or a few other names? Like Ataraxia has had me hosted for four months, nonstop. <laughs> they don't stream. <laughs> Shit. Yep. It, and I mean like. I just think it is a fact. If you look at twitch.tv slash directory slash game slash smite, you you don't see Zalia up there that often. Yep. You, you just don't. And that's not saying exactly. that he is a bad streamer or anything like that. I think Zalia yeah, is a and, and, guy, and, and, and like it's blah, blah, blah. It's important for everybody to know that I'm not attacking these guys' content. I watch a lot of those people that you linked. Yeah, yeah, no. Like, from my experience of walking through higher studios, like, pretty much everyone has, like, a stream on. Yeah. And it's, like, usually, like, Incon, Lasses, probably Dare to Care. I think Dare to Care would be one of the funniest. No one watches Dare to Care. Dude, I think I would. That would be hilarious. (laughs) Or, like, maybe Hafu. It's like Smite streams and like Hafu because she plays Hearthstone and everyone likes Hearthstone. And then and, and then go. when you visit and then when you visit Pecky's, he's watching RuneScape for some reason. <laughs> yeah, of course he is. Weird. <laughs> but but yeah. So I mean, what, somebody asked why doesn't Hindu man stream? Hindu man is too busy. Like th- these are generally people that aren't yeah. employed by high res at the moment, right? They're right now. We 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 it's all pro Wait, players and then mesmerized. Does that mean Sun Touch is getting hired? God no. <laughs> So you say Suntouch isn't getting hired. Uh, bias. <laughs> anyway, it has nothing to do with NA versus EU. And this is something that, like, I don't understand. It, it, it's never, it's, it's never, there is no NA bias. Why are times situated for, nor- why do we stream things at, like, North American times? Because I'm not waking up at 3 fucking a.m. Bard and I are not going to commentate a 4 a.m. match. We love Europe, yeah, that's but not pretty that much. standard. I mean, like it's not going to happen. Why? Yeah. Like as far as EU land, the international started at like 10 Pacific time. <laughs> like that shit was so bad for literally everyone not on the West Coast. Yeah, <laughs> you just sort yeah. of do things where you are. Like <laughs> so, so a lot of that stuff. They, and, like, I, they're just, you know, I, I work at the fucking company. There's, yeah. there's no bias NA to EU, whether it's pro right. league operated or not. This Except is... for admin decisions, which are all very biased against everyone. God damn it. The admins are just trying to fuck you. Yeah, if no, you're ever on the wrong side you, of an admin decision. Yeah. Cooper hates Can we get EU casters for EU games? I don't see why that is a thing at all. But a Hindu man is usually put on European games because of that. That yeah. said, he's the only caster we have from Europe. But again, there's like that should not be a thing. No, I don't. Just because you want to hear somebody with the same accent as you, I don't really get that. I don't think many people have Hindu men's accent, honestly. <laughs> I don't. I, don't I, think I, I just don't understand. Accent. Yeah, it's a, <laughs> it's completely made up. It's funny how uh, 
Pigeon Man and Real sound completely different. Yeah. It's weird. <laughs> isn't Zion getting hired? Zion is hired. He's also not from Europe. He's also not from Europe, no. and you won't be casting. Yeah, he's production boys. He will be doing production. Which he means that then, no then he'll go to QA, EU. and so, then he'll go to community management, and then he'll become a game developer, because that's how it works. It's been proven. Hardly any of the NA casters knew a thing about the EU scene and the fact that Mogai was like, I said it on the motherfucking broadcast! Yeah, no, he said what that. What more? Okay. He said okay. that. So, let me give you a, a little one-two about commentary. <laughs> you have these facts in your hands. And if you unleash them all, then your broadcast is boring for 40 minutes. So, during picks and bans... We mentioned how Hades does well because of XYZ. Then when we got into the game, we mentioned how Mogao is the best Hades in the world. And then we kept doing our solo late analysis based on the fact that Mogao's Hades is insane. The next game that he played, when he played Raw, we were surprised at the Raw pick in the current meta, but not surprised because Mogao plays a lot of Raw. Homework is done by all the casters. Like, TV, I love you. Yeah, Homework no, is done by no, all no, the no, casters. No, 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 You need to go to Mogao 101 before you can cast your thought. <laughs> and the idea, the idea, the idea that, That's my commenta- that the commentary staff doesn't know Europe is it's, it's confirmation bias is really what it is. Gandhi knows nothing. First of all, Gandhi knows a lot. He just plays chair one, and it's a really boring broadcast if, you're an, if your analyst doesn't ever analyze anything because your announcer's analyzing everything. So Gandhi asks a lot of questions. Gandhi knows a lot, and he's really not casting that often. Bart and Adonis know little. Brandon's biased again. I'm just... Kayla, you're cruising for a bruise in there. Uh, <laughs> Adonis is the ex-pro that literally... <laughs> I watched. Dude, wait, hold on. You can't say that variety is half of Europe. You can't call someone that fat. That's not nice. <laughs> variety. I don't think Variety is fat. I think he's like a normal sized guy, dude. What are you doing? I've That's watched Adonis. I've watched Adonis comb through five months worth of match IDs. Yeah, Adonis writing is one of down, the most knowledgeable spy players there is. Writing down picks and bands. To analyze individual player and team pick ske- pick schedule, pick priority, and pick strength. Me and Hindu Man then bang heads together with that and refine it. That is like quite literally his job. So please do not slander Adonis for not knowing anything. Although he doesn't know anything about <laughs> Princess Tomato. <laughs> like, or anything about tomatoes. Now, as far as, like, casting, everybody's got a couple of knocks against them. But when it comes to knowledge by Adonis and by nature of Adonis, the, large, the commentary staff at large, I think we've got it on lock these days. I think we've got it on lock these days. I mean, like, every so <laughs> often there's going to be weird shit that nobody knows about. Right? Like, that just yeah. exists out there. If you, if you come there in with a few times where, like, I've talked to Kabir and have been like, so that's a feature, right? And he's like, what? Kabir's like the <laughs> QA guy. Like, yeah. like... For example, let's say you're playing Rama, okay? And you have Blink yep. 2. You ult, you go up in the air, you fire two shots, and you wait. And meanwhile, Poseidon and Sir Cat, uh, not Sir Cat, and like whoever the fuck, right? Like eight people from their team are sitting down below to kill you when you land, right? Mm-hmm. You mash that Blink button, you will Blink before you hit the ground. You're just gone. Yep, you're out. It's hilarious. Peace, gone. See you later. There's so much like random shit like that that not everyone might know. Yeah, and that's a part of it. Or, like, that's a part of it. what happens when Nemesis hits somebody and has her shield up, and they have a shield of the Underworld up. Who gets hit? Does it bounce and bounce back? And, like, well, first of all, who gives a shit? But second of all, <laughs> people don't know that. Or, like, shin size is reduced by spirit rope, the, the passive. Really? Yeah. Well, it's Actually, that damage. makes sense. Yeah. No, it's physical damage. Yeah. No, right? that make, it makes sense after... You know what else is reduced by the Spirit Rope passive? 
Bakasura's Butcher Blades. Yep. Because true damage is reduced by percent damage reduction, and not everyone knows yep. that. And percent damage reduction flat uh, <laughs> is a flat stack with no diminishing returns, and Kepri's fucking broken. You know, if you use your yeah. Kepri 2 on a Ravana who's ulting, he doesn't take damage. <laughs> <laughs> it's so. really s- Anyway. I don't want to talk about commentary for the second week in a row, but. Yeah. Sure. You could, you could have talked about knowledge of casting earlier on, but. One of our, so as more talent was hired, i.e. me, Hindu man, the attention to knowledge and the depth of knowledge has definitely been a thing. So Yeah, it's improved. Yeah, so like Bart has a desk job in addition to commentary. Gandhi is largely just a desk job these days. He's the Xbox producer. He's producing a video game. So like he is rarely Mr. around for Xbox. commentary. Yeah, he's really around for commentary. But, and Adonis has, has a second job as well. So, Hinnaman and I largely came in sort of creating our own gig. Uh, and, and in that, we've gotten a lot of opportunity to sort of learn and force knowledge onto the other commentator. So, just a little insight, background. Uh, basically, what happens is Adonis, Hinnaman, and I, we have a specialized program. You can download it called Tableau where Tableau will make visualizations of spreadsheets, and the spreadsheets collect data. This is all very boring, because it's the boring side of commentary. But basically, all these spreadsheets from damage to picks, etc., from the teams, are visualized in a program called Tableau that Bart does a lot of work on, too. And then that information, both visualized and unvisualized in Tableau and the raw Excel spreadsheets, are taken by myself, Hindu Man, and Adonis. And what we do is we sit there for hours upon hours, and we identify trends, and we we give you the reasons behind why Mogao is, is, is the best Hades. It's because he's able to get his lane dominance very, very early on. It's because his average tower kill is about eight minutes instead of 11 like the average solo laner, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. That number is not correct, by the way. But anyway, that's the type of shit that we do. And then every week, we come together at a commentary meeting and we tell everybody what we've learned. Then we have a conversation on the storyline. So, you know, this team needs to win this to get to land, blah, blah, blah. And then we go into the game. So the knowledge base is there. It is communicated. And that's why these days we take so much offense to it. Before it was like, yeah, well, my feelings are hurt. Now it's like, dog, we do the work. And y'all just aren't listening. And, and every so often, like, like, it's a pro player's job to innovate. So every so often there is going to be something that casters didn't know existed right. before. Uh-huh. I'm more in a strategic side. But every so often, someone's just going to find a weird build or a weird bug or whatever. And, and most of the time, casters can work on the fly. And sometimes you're just hoodwinked. And that's the yeah. fun of it. That, that, that it truly is the fun of it. I mean, you got, you got to cast again this, this, yeah. this month. And, like, part of the fun is going, I know almost everything. But what the fuck is that guy doing? I can't wait to see what he does with it. Right? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. so much fun. Sure. That's or when people think about new things. Like... New things happen all the time. That's one of the most fun things about uh, games like Spike because they're constantly patching. So the meta is going to change faster than it would otherwise and grow and stuff like that. It's it's really cool. And you just got to gotta get your head in the game, have an open <laughs> mind. And I, I think casting is good right now. Um, wow. In, in terms of the knowledge base. Yeah. That's terms of knowledge. damn. Yeah. Damn. The almighty Krent is content with the knowledge base of casting. Content is a good word. I'm not happy. <laughs> you just said you were happy. No, 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 no. I didn't say I'm not happy. I said I'm not happy. Not happy would be a bad thing. I, I'm just not happy. I very rarely am. I'm content. And then, okay, that's fair. Yeah, you see what I mean? That's, now I, now yeah. I know what you mean. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so basically, where do people even get the rumor that Omega's leaving? I don't know. Cloud did it. That's the end of us. We will catch you later next Tuesday, 4, 5 p.m. here on twitch.tv slash fswag. If you missed it, visit us at youtube.com slash cretta. And I implore you to watch next week. See ya. Peace.